Hello everyone, this is Barnman and Yolio 77. We welcome you back to Quest Calendars 2024, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Today is Saturday, June 8th, 2024. AKA Stars Day, Summer Tide. Cora was confronted by two insects yesterday, suffered some damage, and then they ran off down a tunnel. Cora wonders, are the insects behind the situation or is it just mere coincidence? And how did they drain the water? And can you reverse the process? Numerous questions arise, urging you to uncover the truth and find solutions. Cora remembers her discussion with the fox from earlier that gave her spring source. And this is gonna add to her rolls today. She gets a plus two bonus for all non-combat roles on this page. Cora ventures through and goes to the first area. As she enters, she discovers a sleeping insect that's startled awake. It raises its club and charges at you with loud chirping. Is she gonna try to have her party assist her? They weren't able to assist before. Yes. All right, Frostwelf. Two. All right, Dagger. One. Eagle. One. Sty. Two. None of the party's going to help. She's going to have to do this all by herself as usual. She takes a swing with her cutlass at the charging insect. Thirteen. Plus five. She completely hits the insect. Let's see for how much damage. Your D12. D12. Plus two. Seven. Describe how the insect perishes. While they were charging at each other, Cora managed to did the first hit and it was the fatal blow. Searching the insect, she locates a single amber. I love searching dead bodies. Moving on to the next area, Cora hears the echoing sound of dripping water drawing her closer, hinting at a potential answer to the town's water issues. Trusting your skills, you trace the sound. This is a wisdom roll, so Betty could try to help. Yes. See if you get a four. One. Does not assist. So you're gonna do a wisdom roll plus one. 12. 13. The dripping water proves to be a decent guide. While you encounter some misleading branches and dead ends in the tunnels, your intuition mostly steers you in the right direction. And you have found the source of the well water. Nice. Aura is G-O-O-D. She continues searching did realize that we still have that plus two from the spring source, but we haven't needed it yet. So that's good. Yes. On that first roll. A tunnel suction slowly collapses from the weight of the town structures above. Parts of this block your way and you must crawl to get by. This is going to be a danger sense roll. So plus two on danger sense, plus two for spring source, as well as a dexterity roll. This is a plus seven. You should have no problem whatsoever. Four. Famous last words. <laughs> you do get some scrapes and bruises while navigating the treacherous section of the tunnel. You successfully make it through without causing a further cave-in, but lose one health. Famous last words. Yeah. Should have no problem with this. As Cora continues down a narrow passage, the otherworldly ambience of this hidden cavern is mesmerizing. Glowing mushrooms cast a bioluminescence blue hue across the area. She's going to do a little bit of investigating in here. This is a wisdom roll. Okay. Plus one. Would you use Betty? You already tried to use Betty today. Never mind. Eighteen. Very good. You identify these mushrooms as Lumina fungi. 
a rare and sought after species in the world of alchemy, you know how to safely harvest them without releasing their spores and you collect a few that you can then sell back in Mudbrook. Yes. Right now though, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to have that transaction take place and you're gonna get three amber from the alchemist. Nice. Something with Cora when she has high, like, high boost, she always gets a low number. When she has a low boost, she gets a high number. I think that's how it works. This is how it's been going that, today. That's kind of funny. Ugh. Well, she did quite well otherwise. Very much so. And she will continue to seek out that water source that she thinks that she has found. Farewell. Next week. Farewell. Goodbye.